glycogen storage diseases the glycogenosis that is the glycogen storage diseases are autosomal recessive enzyme defects that results in either decreased glycogen breakdown that is pompies or increased glycogen synthesis like von gerkes whatever may be the type finally leads to accumulation of glycogen within the cytoplasm except pompies where glycogen is accumulated in the lysosomes of cells in one or more tissues leads to organ dysfunction the mnemonic if you see here if you have a very poor carbohydrate metabolism don't eat that uh, hershey bar type 1 is von gerkes type 2 is pompies type 3 is coris type 4 is andersons type 5 is mccardells and type 6 is hers and the type 1 is a von gerkes disease where there is a deficiency of glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme mainly located in the liver as well as in the kidney that leads to defective glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis which can cause severe fasting hypoglycemia may develop seizures and hypoxic brain damage and uh, hepatorenomegaly is seen where the glycogen accumulates in the liver as well as in the kidney because excess glucose 6 phosphate stimulates uh, the glycogen synthesis and inhibits glycogenolysis hyperlipidemia is seen which uh, leads to the development of skin xanthomas and increased uh, vldl and hyperuricemia is seen because uh, the accumulated uh, glucose 6 phosphate uh, diverted into hmp pathway where the hmp pathway is responsible for the synthesis of riboses where the riboses are responsible for the synthesis of purines and pyrimidines leads to the synthesis of dna and rna so the metabolism of purines and pyrimidines uh, can cause uh, increased production of urea as well as uric acid and this uric acid excreted in the urine can cause hyperuricemia here there will be a decreased free phosphate due to glucose 6 phosphatase defect and increase in the amp and amp degraded to uric acid and increased uric acid production also predisposes to the development of gout but gout is not seen in pre puberty phase that means the children with the von gerkes disease may not present with gouty arthritis and next is the lactic acidosis that is fasting lactic acidosis which can cause increase in the production of lactate decreased uric acid excretion by the kidneys and uh, all these symptoms are seen in the von gerkes disease ingestion of galactose or fructose and no increase in the blood glucose is important over here and administration of the glucagon epinephrine or other gluconeogenic stimulus with no increase in the blood glucose is important over here and next is type 2 which is called as pompies it is a defective of lysosomal alpha 1 to 4 glucosidase enzyme this enzyme is responsible for digesting glycogen and glycogen deposits accumulates in lysosomes so the lysosomal alpha 1 to 4 glucosidase is responsible for only approximately 3% of the glycogenolysis so defects don't cause hypoglycemia but the organs most affected are those which stores glycogen like liver heart and skeletal muscle the predominant symptoms are seen in the heart that's why the patient may die because of left ventricular failure or the left ventricular hypertrophy leads to outflow tract obstruction and finally leads to cardiac failure and death so mortality in the infantile form is mainly due to the cardiac failure from massive cardiomegaly and death occurs before age of 2 so remember that pompy stresses the pump that is heart and next is type 3 glycogen storage disease which is coris disease here there will be a defective in alpha 1 to 6 glucosidase which is a glycogen debranching enzyme because of this the symptoms are fasting hypoglycemia all the symptoms are similar to that of von gerkes but are in milder form and normal blood lactate levels are seen but in von gerkes blood lactate levels are elevated so the glycogen molecules have shorter outer branches with single glucose residue and the glycogenolysis is defective but the gluconeogenesis is still functional in this and it presents with the hepatomegaly in infancy and the next is type 4 called as andersons disease in this disease there is a defect in alpha 4 to 6 glucosidase 
which is called as a glycogen branching enzyme. So inability to form branches. So there will be an accumulation of long insoluble glycogen chains leads to the development of hepatosplenomegaly and finally leads to liver cirrhosis. And it can cause infantile cirrhosis and liver failure and failure to thrive and hypotonia and all these symptoms are usually fatal. And next is type 5 called as the mechardial disease. There is a defective skeletal muscle glycogen phosphorylase. So, unable to break down glycogen and glycogen accumulates in the muscle. So, whenever the person is performing any sternus or vigorous exercise, the glucose is not produced from the glycogen. So, patient may develop muscle cramps during exercise can lead to myoglobinuria and uh, still form normal glycogen molecules even in this disease. So, mechardals means remember muscle and the defect is muscle phosphorylase. And next is type 6 which is Hurst disease. There will be a deficiency of hepatic glycogen phosphorylase and the gluconeogenesis but no glycogenolysis is seen. So, there will be a fasting hypoglycemia but very mild in nature and hepatomegaly is seen. In worst conditions, there will be cirrhosis. HERS means hepatic phosphorylase. As with the type 5 mechardals, glycogen structure is normal. Early childhood presentation of hepatomegaly and growth retardation. So here, so here may improve the increase of the age. So this is what we need to know about the glycogen storage diseases and symptomatology.